Why is it that he gets a train and I don't? Hello everyone, welcome back to another review. My name is Matthew and today we're taking another review of the U2's Collectibles Toho Classic Godzilla figure. That's right. This guy's been a long time coming for me, but I finally have him in hand and I'm ready to review him. So without further ado, let's uh, review him. So starting off with the sculpt and paint. The sculpt and paint, honestly, I'm going to say this is probably U2's best work yet. At least from my exposure to them. Because I only have the King of Dwarf from this line, and then the entirety of the Godzilla vs. Kong line. I'm sure there's a U2's out there that's like the end them all, beat them all for sculpt and paint. But this is honestly my favorite one of the bunch. Um, the scales on this guy particularly are actually like done in a variety of different styles. I know these are like the dorsal plates, but they really give like the illusion that they are dor like straight up spikes or uh, scales because they are like diamond shaped and I really like that. And the, sk and the skin kind of patterns, you know, in the standard oval kind of line that Godzilla's Heisei and Show era designs, kind of millennium depending on which version you're talking about, really lean towards. The uh, face looks really nice. I know we got that classic U2's crescent eyes. You know, they're painted black. It looks like he's happy. The teeth are really well painted with, like, that eggshell white. And it's hard to tell on camera, but actually, no, you can kind of see it here. But there is some color variation between the train car and that's in his mouth versus the teeth. Um, even though in the promo pictures they did show painting gums, I can't imagine them just taking a little bristle and painting all that per, per figure. That would be just be overkill. Um, but yeah, we got some, like, black and, uh, wheels in the windows, kind of, like, interior for the train car. Same thing with the train car he's holding, although it, much more of it is shown thanks to the fact he's holding it, rather than, um, biting down on it. So half of it's in his mouth. But you can actually kind of see more of it, like, on the back, and I didn't actually realize they painted the other side. That is a really nice touch. Um, the claws look really well done as well. They're just kind of, uh, painted on. There's no, like, real shading. But something I like is that, even though, like, it is small, you can still kind of see the sculpted paint, sorry, sculpt, sculpted detail that's still on there. Again, it can't really see because of my light, but it's for better shots, you know. Um, something that I kind of find weird is that the thumb isn't, like, done the way that these nails are, so it kind of looks like a human thumbnail. Best way of describing it, you see? It's not like directly on the base of the thumb. It's like on the side of the thumb. Same thing on this side. Probably stylish choice. Godzilla's got that sassy kind of thing going on. Um, Godzilla's got his signature four clawed toenails. They look really great. Really well sculpted. Basically painted, but still really nice. He's nice and chunky. The thighs especially. And the abdomen. Really nice detail. And the tail looks really good. Uh, it looks really... Uh, kind of like a little nub, you know, bottom of the feet. They don't really have too much detail. They just kind of have the Toho copyright uh, information, trademark, U2's, or Toho, uh, U2's.com, so on and so forth. But, of course, we got to talk about the dorsal spines, which uh, the dorsal spines do not really resemble. I think they kind of resemble the Heisei Godzilla, but this is it biting down on the train, so it's like a reference to 54. This is like a general classic Godzilla, so when you think classic Godzilla, you think of something like this. Um, I will say that the sculpt is really well done, and the application of the paint is not that messy. You'd think it'd be a lot more messier, but no, this is actually really well done. I will say that I would have liked to see some more maybe dry brushing, like black or blue kind of colors, more towards the middle. Maybe gray. Because you can definitely see it's obviously sculpted in there. Like, you think they would get in there and paint it, but... Oh, uh, no. I mean, it's fine. Uh, you definitely kind of have, like, the very nice big fin and, like, small fins, like, you know, going back. You know, that's how Godzilla is. But overall, for sculpt and paint, this is a really well done figure, and I feel like the only complaint I have with this golden paint is really just like some more paint on the spines themselves, but aside from that, really no complaints. For some size comparisons, here he is compared next to the Nike Godzilla 54, NES 88, 94, and 2014. Why these specific figures? Because one, they were my first Godzilla figures ever, period, and two, they were my first Nike Godzilla's ever, period. So they 
basically be the same thing. But yeah, makes sense. My first purchases versus my latest purchase, even though this is probably going to be invalid within like a week or so. Uh, I don't care. I'm, I'm being a bit, I'm joking because I, I think I have Mechagodzilla Mothra on order next. So yeah. And here he is next to all my other YouTube's Godzilla figures I currently have with the entirety of the GVK line and King Ghidorah. Now, I said in one of my videos, I think, where I pit the Funkos versus the U2s, U2s is not a figure company line for scaling. This still remains true because of the new Godzilla line because, as you can see, Godzilla is way bigger than King Ghidorah. In fact, his tallest head is barely up to Godzilla's eyebrow. Like, that's actually how much bigger Godzilla is. In fact, I think he's about... Mm, I think he's a little shorter than King Ghidorah's top wing. However, I could be wrong about that. Also, he's, like, significantly uh, heavier. Also, I want to make mention that even though these two are... Like, here's a comparison, getting the beam out of his mouth. Here's a comparison between the Monster vs. Godzilla and the classic Godzilla. So, obviously, completely different molds, completely different dorsal spikes. Pretty much new from the ground up. And, uh, actually, I actually didn't properly check this. I think he's about the same height as the Godzilla on the aircraft carrier. Maybe? Oh, no, he's, sli mm, he's slightly taller. But I think as far as, like, being the same size, this one's probably the best. And for some other size comparisons, here he is next to some Funko Pops with the Godzilla Black Light Pop and the classic Godzilla Funko Pop, which I will be doing a figure comparison between these two. Yeah, an in-depth figure analysis to determine which one's the better one of those two. And for some more size comparisons with Funko Pops, here he is next to some of the GVK Funko Pops featuring the standard Godzilla, the st <coughs> Battle Ready Kong, and the Mecha Godzilla with the Glow in the Dark, uh, what were you, previews exclusive from Entertainment Earth, Godzilla, classic. So as you can see, he's a little smaller compared to his Funko cousins, but it's nothing too major. Well, that's major. And for the last size comparison, here he is next to the only other Godzilla in my entire collection holding a train. The Johnny Lightning 50 Years Godzilla with Jeep. And I guess as a last minute thing, here he is next compared to the Playmates Godzilla 2004 6 inch version. So, good way to cap off the video. What do I overall think of this figure? This is honestly my favorite YouTube figure yet. Again, I it's subjective because I just got this thing so I'm probably still um, all excited about my newest purchase but I think that this is a great release you know it's very um, expensive because like this was $30 before shipping and even then shipping was only just an additional five so that's $35 but really your mileage may vary for the price personally I think that this figure is beautiful. It is beautifully sculpted, really well painted, and even though there's no articulation or accessories, it's still a nice little novelty item to look at. You know, if you have some Funko Pops and you want a 3-inch classic Godzilla Funko Pop, this is honestly not a bad way to go. Maybe take some just like clay and black out the eyes. It's going to fit perfectly in my opinion. Granted, if it had a bigger head, but still... I feel like if you have the skills, you could probably pull some off with this guy. And it's really good. But yeah, with that being said, uh, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys liked it, definitely subscribe to the channel. Jesus loves you. God bless you all. Go out there and spread the gospel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everyone.